In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do this effect. That's an effect I like to call the screen crack effect. And it's super simple, super easy to really emphasize impacts or any sorts of movement. And it's something that I'll do today in Premiere Pro. To achieve this effect, I'm gonna utilize a few different assets from Motion Array's library to really pull this all together. I'm gonna need three plugins, auto volumetrics, chromatic aberration and TV damage. Okay, so first up, what I'm gonna do is open up Motion Array Hub, and this is where I can browse and download all the plugins available from Motion Array. Specifically today, I need plugins for Premiere Pro. And the three plugins that I'm going to utilize are number one, TV damage, which I already have downloaded here. You click and download that. Number two, we're gonna need Chromatic Aberration, which is actually a new plugin that has released recently. And finally, we'll also download the Auto Volume Metrics plugin, which is another cool effect. Before we hop into how we're gonna utilize these three plugins in our effect today, let's also download the two additional things that we'll need to really sell this effect. The first thing I'm gonna download is this Broken Glass Hole Cracks JPEG by Lisevich. And I'll download this, and all this is is just a texture that I'm going to apply to really sell this effect once the impact has occurred. The other thing that I'm going to download are these 35 hit presets by Animark. And these are really cool. After we have the impact, I'll go ahead and show you how this comes into play. Okay, so once I'm in my Premiere Pro timeline today, I've got my two clips here, my before and after. The before is the talent is pushing the camera and the talent then catches the camera in the second clip. And what I've done here is right between the two clips, I've gone ahead and cut my two clips. So I have two separate files, two separate video files that I can then play with. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is identify where the impact occurs and where I want it to really happen. So I'm thinking right around here where he catches it. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and click and drag and paste this broken glass texture onto my project file. And real quickly, what I can do is just go ahead and change my blend mode from normal to screen. We've already kind of gotten the effect that we want. So what we're gonna do now is, what we're gonna do is we're going to nest this entire clip. And right here, I just have a cross dissolves. After the effect happens, I'm just gonna get rid of it. So what I'm gonna do at this point, I'm going to cut my clip and I'm just gonna nest it. So once you've got your broken glass texture onto the top layer of your video file, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is duplicate the video file and also the broken glass texture. And I'm gonna nest that and just place it over the original video file. That way, at any point, I can go ahead and fade in and out of the effect. And it just gives us a little bit of leeway in terms of when we want the effect to go away. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is add, let's add TV damage first. And the first thing I'm gonna do once I get the TV damage on is I'm gonna make it look a little bit more realistic. So we're gonna go to radio interference. I'm gonna change the angle so it looks like it's coming almost vertically. And I'm gonna change the scale down to about 0.61. That already gives it a bit of a TV glitch effect that'll help sell kind of this camera sensor damage that we're trying to achieve. The next thing I'll do is add some auto volumetrics. What auto volumetrics does, it's very interesting. It goes ahead and creates these light aberrations, specifically in the highlights. And by keyframing this, we can give it a bit of animation. So let me just make some keyframes at the very beginning. Let's go maybe three frames over. And now if you can notice that subtle pulsating effect, which gives it that more, a little bit more edge in terms of the damage that you get when you actually fake this, this catch here. The next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and add chromatic aberration and chromatic aberration, you can adjust this however you'd like, but really it gives this effect that really helps sell the camera sensor damage. Amazing. Now we have this cool effect where there's all of a sudden this damage to the lens, which we've now faked to really help sell this impact. The next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and nest this once again. And right at the point of impact, I'm gonna go over about 10 frames. 
What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and add one of these 35 hit presets. What I like to do is I like to use the short number four, which helps sell this effect tremendously. Now that we have our animation, now I can decide where I want this to fade out. So let's go ahead and in the normal transitions. So let me go ahead and let me click cross dissolve. Now I can decide when I want this whole effect to fade out just back to our normal image here. So it's a little bit too quick, but let me just increase this dissolve. And the final step here that we can add to really sell the overall effect of breaking this glass and catching the camera is sound design. Here I've added a few different types of sounds that will really give this a sense of realism. In the beginning, I've added a few different droning impacts at the beginning to start the video off. And then the real key point here is as we're going into the impact, I've gone ahead and added a few different risers and risers help really build up suspense to an impact moment. And right at the point of impact, I've gone ahead and added a breaking glass sound as well as an impact sound, which are both available on Motion Array's library. Additionally, I've added two different whooshes here to really add different layers for this sound effect. And overall, what you get after adding all the sound effects is... Pretty cool overall screen crack effect, which is super easy to do and super quick to achieve in any editing software. So that was a really simple tutorial on how to achieve the screen crack effect in Premiere Pro utilizing three of Motion Array's plugins. Utilizing different effects along with great sound design are the key points for really selling effect. And I hope this tutorial helped you today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.